But let me, let me ask you this, because Facebook has also been now roped into the special counsel investigation, Robert Mueller's probe. Investigators are looking at the connection uh, between President Trump's 2016 campaign and the Cambridge Analytica uh, story. Now, Roger, you just explained it and the difference, but Zuckerberg should hand over the data not just from Facebook, but also from Instagram, right? I mean, Absolutely. you've got a lot of data here so, that is now going to be analyzed by the special counsel. Facebook's problem here is that when they discovered that Cambridge Analytica had the material incorrectly, they in said to them, you have to destroy the stuff, but they didn't go in and validate it had been done. And then six months later, Facebook had employees working with Cambridge Analytica on the Trump campaign, working with the very stuff that was supposed to have been destroyed. That's where the problem is with, with the uh, special prosecutor, because yeah. Facebook knew, the management knew that they were working with ill-gotten data, and you're just not allowed to do that. And the problem with Cambridge Analytica is they're not an American company. You're not allowed, as a non-American person without a green card, you're not allowed to work on a presidential campaign. And so that is the, that's where the issue is. So what, what, then what, was, what would be the motivation? I mean, if they knew, did they just not want to deal with it? I, I just don't think they think about that kind okay. of stuff. You yeah. know, I think they basically view the world as we're going to grow as big as we can. They have two billion members. And I think their view is we're going to four billion members and we're not letting anything get in the way. And, you know, regulations, they not their problem. Yeah, right? Well, look, it looks like the regulatory environment is going to get a lot tougher and now. It's, it's a Facebook tragedy. Others, it's right? a tragedy. This, I mean, when you grow big, you're supposed to grow up. And, you know, I know these people. They are better than what's going on right now. And I would just love to have them sit down and just go, guys, get this right. This is not that hard. From a stock perspective, what are we talking about now? 10% decline this I'm, week? I, I got to be honest with you, Maria. This scares the heck out of me because this is a business based on trust. And how can you trust them with the way they're behaving right now? Mm. And I think users are absolutely within their rights to change their behavior. In fact, they, everybody needs to understand anything you put onto Facebook could disappear. It could go to bad people and there's no way to get back. So you have to be smarter. That's, I mean, Facebook was a place we all trusted. And I don't know how we get back to that. And as an investor, that really worries me. I'm not worried about the earnings. I'm worried about the PE multiple people pay because they're not going to trust them as much. And it's going to be really hard to earn that trust back because this window, the first time they came out to talk, they blew it. Yeah. So the growth story has changed. Uh, Putting earnings aside, the growth story and the, the stock story has yeah, changed. I story. look at this. I still own the stock, but I've had to trim. I, you know, I, have a, I don't do the trades myself. I had somebody else now yeah, manage sure. it because I'm involved in this of thing. Course. And they sold some stock this week because they went, this is terrible. And I'm going, well, it's been terrible for ages. Why would you pick this week? And they say, because this is the week they lost trust. Wow. And it has everything to do with the way the leadership behaved. Exactly. What they did in how terms many of times, facing off on an how issue. How many times have we seen this? We both remember how yeah. Johnson & Johnson handled Tylenol. That's right. right. That guy went in and poisoned a few bottles of Tylenol, and Johnson & Johnson didn't put that in there, but they said, these are our customers. We have to take care of them. And I look at Facebook, and Facebook, their customers are the advertisers. The users for Facebook are the product. But the truth is, there are times when you have to treat the users as your customers, as your partners, as family. And they blew that. Yeah. This was a chance they could have been they could have been a hero in this movie. Right. And I don't know what they do now. I think this is really difficult, but I hope they get it together. Well, you know that Zuckerberg is going to go testify. What kind of... I hope he goes to testify. Well, he's gonna, I hope so, too. He's I going mean, to he fight said, it like crazy. You're right, because even when he was talking in that TV interview on CNN, if he basically said, guy. maybe if I'm the best guy, if not, yeah. not. I mean, no, so he wasn't, it. Really, he wasn't no. really committing oh, to no, it. And it was terrible, because he sits there and says something like, like I don't understand how anybody uh, who would sign a certification that they destroyed the data wouldn't do that. And I'm going, yeah. dude, you signed a consent decree with the FTC, and as far as I can tell, you didn't actually have any compliance for right. it. I mean, you got to be kidding me. Well, he says, I don't think we think we, that we don't uh, affect elections. I'm going, give me a break. You put out white papers talking about how you influenced elections. You're absolutely right. I mean, I look you're at this, I go, right. guys, you need a new PR firm. Let me ask you this. From 30,000 feet up, Roger, on a day that, you know, we just come off of a 700-point sell-off in the, in the Dow yesterday, Facebook's looking down again. We're expecting perhaps more regulation in the entire sector. What do you want to do here as an investor? Are you, is this just your Facebook store for you, or you want to step away on a whole bunch of tech companies in the face of all of this? Actually, I don't think it's just tech companies. I think okay. tech remains a leader in our economy. I worry that we, we're almost 10 years into a bull market, Maria. And when I was last on here, we talked about this issue that we were coming towards the end of a bull market cycle. And once you get into a situation of tariffs and trade wars, 
you have to look at lower growth and higher inflation. That's not, I mean, I don't know whether the market's going to bounce back from this in the short run, but when you look out a bit at longer term, the outlook just isn't that good. I mean, we haven't had a serious correction, right. a long-term correction in 10 years. I mean, we're, it could happen any time. Yeah. And I, I can't predict whether it's this week, this month, whenever, but I'm personally defensively postured and have been, for, frankly, for more than a year because I worry that we're going to have higher inflation and lower growth. And you and I have been around long enough to remember what stagflation's like. Right. It's a really bad thing. And I don't know that that's what's going to happen. Yeah. But if you think it's even a possibility, you have to factor that into your valuation. Yeah, this on the week that the Federal Reserve raises interest rates for the first hey, time. Hey, uh, seen this, year. this movie before, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Roger, it's great to get your insights. Maria, it's always fun to be on. Thank with you. you so much for joining us. Roger McNamee there.